Hi, I'm Luke Nguyen. Now, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Australia and Vietnam's diplomatic relations, I'll be embarking on a culinary journey through Vietnam. I'll be meeting up with inspiring Australians eating delicious regional Vietnamese foods, and I'll also be cooking with some premium Australian produce. I've just arrived to Bac Lille, a province in the Mekong Delta region in the south of Vietnam. It's full of cultural treasures here, surrounded by beautiful landscape, lush green rice paddy fields, and an intricate river system. I'm about to cross over the magnificent Mi Twin Bridge, built by both Vietnam and Australia in May 2000. Now, it was the very first bridge built over the mighty Mekong River down there, and it links Ho Chi Minh City to the Mekong River Delta region, which improves the lives of millions and millions of people. Now, this bridge has become a great symbol of collaboration and friendship between Vietnam and Australia. I'll be discovering real hidden gems and I'll be visiting one of the most innovative and sustainable prawn farms in all of the world. I'm at the largest, most sustainable and technologically advanced prawn farms in all of Vietnam. Now the company is called Viet Op, Viet for Vietnam and Op meaning Australia, as the company works really closely with CSIRO in Australia to ensure that the most premium and the healthiest prawns are produced right here and exported to the world. Now I'm really interested to see how it's all done, so let's go take a look. Hello. Hello. I'm Hello. Luke. Chào anh Lúc. Chào. Chào anh đến Việt Úc. Very clean. Yeah, yeah. Fix and fix our boots yeah. as well. Oh wow. How big are the prawns when they begin here? Uh, How big just are they? One gram. One gram. Yeah. Little seedlings. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. They're here for 70 days. Yeah. So at the end of 70 days. 22. 22 yeah, grams. Yeah. We have a water treatment outside. So the uh, water comes yeah, from yeah, the ocean. Yeah. Come to the ocean and go through the system for testament down uh, to paint the solid, then you go into this impact. This effect of yeah. water. Just the water alone, it goes through all those stages to ensure clean, yeah. safe water yeah. for the prawns. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And, uh, oh. Wow. Whoa! Look at them. 17 grams uh, already. So this is 17 grams already. Yeah, yeah. Look at the translucent skin on that. Oh my god. You can see straight through it. What kind of prawn is it? Tom thẻ. Tom thẻ. I think in English it's called the white-legged shrimp. White now, my prawn have a good life. Now the, the water is treated so it's super clean. Yeah. There's no antibiotics used in any of this. No antibiotics in the whole life. In the whole life cycle, Sunday, no yeah. antibiotics as yeah. well. These prawns are raised to 22 grams. Yeah, right? yeah. What's your largest prawn, Abidal? Uh, we have 33 grams. Oh wow, in, big in ones. The, yeah, in, in the, the different uh, unit, oh, okay. our model. Wow, beautiful, big, deep yeah. prawns. So we try to uh, use the different model to compare and find out uh, which, which one is the best. So, Antai, the previous pond, the smaller prawns, yeah, so small. they're there for 70 days. Yeah. How long are these larger ones here for? Uh, 100 days already. Oh, so 100 yeah. days they yeah. get time to grow yeah, bigger. Yeah. Whoa! Just... Look at that! Oh my gosh, they are big and really strong. Ah! That looks like the perfect prawn. Oh, this is really lovely. When they've reached 33 grams, they get transported to the processing plant and then it's done. Within 24 hours, it's complete. Yeah. And then shipped to the world. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these prawns are antibiotic free, disease free. free yeah. Now, Mr. Tay, can I get a job at Vidal? Can you give me a job here? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Now, the prawns in the basket there, how do they get harvested? You, you can get in and uh, fill. Yeah. Yeah. Me go inside. Yeah. Hop. 
I have to go inside. Really? Are you going in? No, no, no. no, no. no, no. White legs, unbelievable. Oh, more. Oh. <laughs> the texture, so firm, so fresh. You can't get fresher than this, straight from the fresh waters of Bakleo. Love it. Now I'll follow the truck to here. It's the processing plant of it all, where I'm going to meet the general manager. He's going to show me how it all works inside. Hello. Hello. Viet Oak possesses cutting edge prawn producing technology in Vietnam and the world. The prawns undergo a meticulous process, harvested directly from the farm. They're transported to the production facility, pre-washed and scanned. Now their scanning system precisely categorizes the prawns based on their weight and size, ensuring stringent quality control from farm to factory. This technology represents a pinnacle in prawn production, guaranteeing exceptional standards in every stage of the process, setting a benchmark in the industry. These prawns have been steamed and straight into the ice bath, so they're really vibrant in colour and incredibly fresh. That were amazingly textured and firm raw before. Yeah. Yeah. These are so sweet, so beautiful, Yes. This is a perfect prawn. I'm now off to meet the chairman, Mr. Lung Tan Van, and cook one of my favorite southern Vietnamese dishes, Van Sel, a crisp rice flour crepe filled with vittle prawns, pork, and mung beans. Now, Mr. Ben, thank you so much for that experience at Bidlup. It was amazing. Now, I'm going to put in your prawns yes. in here. I'll mm. put in, in for you. Yeah. Just throw, <laughs> stir fry that a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to put some of this in as well. Mm. There you go. Yeah. And some pork. So we have a rice batter here of freshly squeezed coconut milk mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. with turmeric and also some spring onion and mm. some rice flour. Yeah, like that, oh, and then one yeah. more. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Very good. Yeah. And then around there. One more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh really yours looks so good. Yeah. Yours looks perfect. <laughs> I've got some uh, mung bean. Đậu đậu xanh. Đậu xanh. Mung bean goes in. Yeah. Oh, nhiều đậu xanh mà. Okay. Yeah. I've got a customer here saying put more đậu xanh in. Okay. okay, a lot of more dal san. Yeah, yeah. Nice, sweet mm. onions go in there. Now this can slowly cook. Kikuma. Bung uh, sang. Angle okay. the, the pan to the, to the heat. Yeah. Just so it cooks evenly. Now, Mr. Van, what was your inspiration and your ambition when you set up uh, Bin Uk Company? Nói chung là từ những ngày mà đầu tiên á, yeah. lúc mà ở bên Úc á, cũng có cái nguyện vọng là muốn trở về Việt Nam yeah. để mà mang những cái hiểu biết của mình, cái công nghệ ở bên đó để về bên đây để mà phát triển. Yeah. Hiện nay là trên thế giới có vài nước thôi, mà trong đó có Việt Nam mình là cũng có tên trong bản đồ quốc tế là mình có được tôn bố mẹ ở Việt Nam. After 23 years of Việt Úc, what has been the, the core values and the uh, the principles of Việt Úc? là cái tốt nhất á yeah. là về cái phần chất lượng chất lượng của nhân sự yeah. chất lượng của công nghệ nhưng mà cái đặc biệt nữa là cái chất lượng về cái hoài bão. Where do you see Vin Up in the future and what role does Vin Up play in the the prawn agriculture industry in Vietnam? Cái tôm á là một cái nguồn dinh dưỡng rất là cần thiết à, cho cơ thể con người. Đất nước Việt Nam nó giờ đang phát triển cái ngành tôm rất là mạnh. Yeah. Đứng về hàng thứ ba trên thế giới hiện nay. Number three in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cho nên là cái cái sản lượng rất là dồi dào nhưng mà cái chất lượng thì bắt đầu càng ngày càng khẳng định lại. Yeah. Oh, very 
very good. <laughs> nice and crispy. Mm. Look at those beautiful pearls yeah. popping out. So yeah. now I'm just going to lift it like that. Oh, oh. Lift it in half. Yeah. Fold it. See that? Oh. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. wow, that looks good. Yeah. Now we're going to try to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at that. Nice and crispy. Now if you look yeah. at the inside, mm. you have your wonderful bit of prawn with the yeah. bean sprout. Oh. Now let's go take this to the table and enjoy it together. Yes, this is my wife. Oh, Chào chị. Chào em. I think behind every great man, there is a greater woman. Uh -huh. right? yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure. So this is quintessential Vietnamese right now. Mm. Fresh herbs, crispy textual bun cell with bit of prawns. And this is what makes Vietnamese food mm. so <laughs> much loved around the world because it's so healthy, yeah. right? I mean, apart from all the oil in the bun cell, this is healthy. <laughs> I love all the mm. hikama, bean sprout. So, I have a nice big bowl of nuk chum here mm. with pickled vegetables. You dunk the bun cell inside and mm. enjoy it. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Rất là giòn. Thơm, rất là ngọt. Mm. Mm. Super delicious. And the pepperiness of the, you know, the mustard green. Hey, mm. cái cái. <laughs> Nước, nước cũng vô cái um, vô cái hồ á, bắt, ừ. bắt tôm, ừ. ăn một cái sống luộc, wow, ừ. rất ngọt. Thế nên con tôm nhanh. của bên Việt Úc nó làm cái chất lượng nó rất là khác. Và bởi vì mình làm cái nhà máy ở trong phâm nuôi luôn. Từ mình nuôi mà lên tới nhà máy á, thì rất là gần. Vì vô nhà máy là bắt đầu là process luôn. Thế nên con tôm lúc đó nó yeah. còn fresh, còn super tươi fresh. Nữa. Trong 20 năm mà trở thành một cái công ty đứng đầu của Việt Nam mình á, mà đi cái công nghệ tiên phong hết. Yeah. Tất cả mọi thứ đều đi trước hết. Là bên Việt Úc là bao nhiêu người làm? Không trên 2.000 người. 2.000 người, wow, 2,000. Yeah. <cười> Trong tập đoàn có một vài công ty ở một vài cái tỉnh, á, tại vì anh có rất nhiều tỉnh từ Bắc vào Nam. Thì có những công ty bữa nay đạt được 100% là công nhân, kỹ thuật, gọi là nhân viên ở trong đó là có nhà 100%. Wow. Thì đó là cái cái chương trình mà bên công ty muốn đẩy mạnh cho cái người nhân viên của mình á để được gắn bó nó lâu dài hơn. Thank you both for the great work you're doing in Vietnam for our people. Okay. Thank you. It's been such a great experience at Việt Úc. Walking through the entire farming and production process and sampling the most premium prawns in the country. I've had such an incredible time celebrating both Australia and Vietnam and sharing their great love of food and produce. This wonderful series has been so colourful, educational and absolutely delicious. I've really enjoyed experiencing a taste of Australia in Vietnam.